Good morning. I want to ask you a question. Have you found yourself a little bit more irritable during this season? Maybe downright just like angry? I've had some moments where I've just like, I've just been angry inside. And it's not one thing, it just feels like this combination of things that sometimes I let pile up over a few days. And man, I don't know what's going on, but just like in my heart, I get angry, right? Now, Jesus made this statement. He said, be angry, but don't sin. Be angry, but sin not. And that's kind of hard to do because this anger that wells up inside of us just sometimes feels like it explodes out there. Have you felt that way at all? We're in the book of Proverbs, and we've been going through that all week. And today we are in Proverbs chapter 29. And I want to read a verse about that. And it's verse 11 in Proverbs 29. And it says this, that fools or people who act foolish give full vent to their rage. But the wise bring calm in the end. When we get mad, it's very easy to act foolish. It's very easy to just kind of explode, right? The full vent to our anger. But this passage talks about how a wise person really is able to maintain self-control. They're able to, even in the hardest of moments, to be able to just stop. And I've found for me, there's times and different tricks I use, like don't talk Count in your head for 10 seconds. Uh, divert your attention to something that's positive for a minute and come back to whatever it is that's bothering you. And, and so like little kind of uh, life hacks on how to not get angry. But it talks about how a wise person keeps themselves under control. And the original Hebrew wording in here is really uh, talks about calming back a storm is what it says. It's this idea of it calmed the storm is raging. You're inside, you know, just boiling and you're able to calm it down, to slow things down, to count, to say a prayer. It goes on in verse 22 of this same chapter of Proverbs, and it says that an angry person stirs up conflict. Uh, that's one of those, uh, yeah, I get it. And then it says, and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. And so I know for me and I know for you this week, my prayer is that we would... Um, let the fruit of the Spirit govern our lives, that when we have those moments that we would allow what God has been building in us, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control to have the day. When we just give in to our anger, all of that fruit, well, it gets rotten. And what God wants to do is keep building that fruit of the Spirit in our lives so that even in the moments when we're angry, we can, well, deal with it. And sometimes there's legitimate things that make us angry. I know watching the news sometimes makes me angry. Uh, watching what you know, people say that are just ridiculous can make you angry. Maybe someone that's close to you in your home makes you angry. <laughs> Uh, and so it's allowing God's love in our life and his peace in our life to rule the day and not give full vent to our anger. And that takes self-discipline. And so that's my prayer for you today. I pray that God would give you self-confidence, self-discipline, uh, that he would build in you that character and, and help you to just be able to manage those moments when you're angry and that his peace would invade your life today. That's my prayer for you. So God bless you guys. Have a great week.